Hey guys, it's Taylor, and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to basically put or insert images anywhere you want to in an Adobe Dreamweaver template. Now, if you were to regularly just insert an image, make sure you know where your cursor is, um, and put one, I don't know, you'll get the image in an absolute direction, you know, part, or direction. And you can't really edit this. You can't really put this anywhere you want to. It won't go anywhere. You can't, you know, move it around. And, you know, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube, you know, how to, you know, use an AP div. But that's absolute direction. And if we were to go to insert, oops, insert, form, I don't know, layout objects, AP div, it doesn't work too well. Yeah, you can move it around. But if we were to insert an image here, I don't know. Let's get this one. Maybe make that smaller. Make the. We can't even actually edit the border. I don't think. Well, that's kind of stupid. Anyway, if we preview that in Firefox, the image actually goes to a different location than it's supposed to in Dreamweaver. You see, it's right here. And I'll make this more noticeable. If you put it on the side, preview in Firefox. You see the image goes over a little bit. This can be a real problem, especially if you're editing, you know, big templates where you have to have something in the exact location that you want it to be in. I don't know, it just pisses me off. And div tags do work. I just want to show you a different way to do it, and it works very well with you know making templates. And I'll actually show you, you know, later in videos how to make a template out of this tool. We're gonna be using tables today. So if we go to insert table or control alt t we brought up with the table window now let me show you what you can do your rows will be basically the rows you know how many rows you have as you see we have you know one two three four that'll be basically how many rows you have the columns are how many boxes you have inside the row so you can have you know three four five so if you had two rows you'd have five columns in each row or if you had one row you'd have two columns in each row you know it, it works like that um, you can change the table width, uh, the border thickness, uh, the cell padding, cell spacing, and you also have four header options. You can have a none, you have left, this works with you know tabs and stuff, same with top, um, and both. But I'm going to just ch keep it at none. You can also just put a summary if you want to like have your own table, you know, just use quickly. Anyway, we're going to hit OK, and we're going to be brought up with a table. Now you can, you know, make this to any size you want. And you can actually move the thing inside the same way. And as you see, we can go to both editing boxes right here. Now, if we click on the right-hand side, we can go down to the properties of this this table and change anything that we had in the original table editing box. So if we wanted this to be 1, we can change it to 1. If you wanted this to be 320, 350, you can change it to 350. You can also, I think the most important tool to use is the border. I really like this being at zero because basically it shows that you can put an image anywhere and you know no one would even know or even have a hint that you're using a table. So it's really helpful. Um, so if we were to insert an image now, I'll insert a different image. You see the image goes inside of the table and you can make it smaller just like that. And you can also align this left center or right it gives you three main you know directions unlike the other ones that don't even work like left right center the in other ones i mean like you know baseline top stuff like that doesn't really work so i'll keep that in the center now let's say you wanted to move this image anywhere you wanted to so let's actually go back into the table properties and change the columns to two and extend this a little bit. Now if we right click, hit cut, and then paste it right here. As you see, we have our image right here in the other box. You can take the the uh, you know the splitter to show you know the between the two boxes and move that over all the way to the side as you see your as you see while you're doing that your picture will move. 
Now, if you wanted it to move all the way to the other side, just extend the whole table out, and voila, you can move it right there, right there, right there, and so on. I'll keep that one right there. Now, let's insert another table into this. So, if we just click on that and go to the columns, change that to three, you can have this one in the middle, your other one right here. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, let's use a Twitter. And maybe you can have one more right here. And there we go. And now you can just edit them, make sure they're, you know, spaced out just right. And you can preview it in Firefox. And there we go, you have three images, and nothing shows up in its place. You don't have that weird kind of line and, you know, all that extra stuff around it. You just have the images, which is really nice. You can also space this and put it anywhere you want by just hitting Enter, and it goes down. You don't have to drag it. It won't work that way. But that's basically how you do it. Um, so... I hope this tutorial helped. If you have any questions whatsoever, please comment below. And if you have any other ideas on how to use the AP div and how to make it not absolute direction, then you can post that below as well. Uh, please subscribe so you know when my latest videos are going to be out, or you can just wait till next Saturday for another tutorial. Or you can go to Effects and Tutorials and watch my new tutorial tomorrow or Monday. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this tutorial helped, and I am working on my website. Don't worry. Don't get too excited. I know everybody wants it. <laughs> Hell no. But really, no one really wants it. But I'm still working on it because it's fun. Anyway, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.